When it comes to input, we've got a number of controls we can use in our software. These have been with us for a long time, but mobile and touch interfaces are giving us a new set of controls which may be better suited to specific tasks. To illustrate, let's take a look at a flight booking form. Here you can see there's a text field asking us where we're coming from and heading to. Then after that, it's all drop-down menus. In fact, there's three up here, another three for a return date, and one, two, three more. That's a lot of drop-downs. As I've illustrated earlier, drop-downs are relatively complex interactions. Not only do you have to select a control, you actually have to find your value in a list, pick it from the options provided, and then tap Done. That's at least a four-tap operation. So drop-down menus, while convenient, should really be the UI of last resort. That is, try a simpler solution first. If you can't make it work, consider the drop-down as a fallback. So what can we do in these flight booking forms to simplify and not resort to drop-downs out the gate? Let's look at the example of collecting what class of travel we want to use. So here, a simple button for economy allows us to make a selection. In the iOS world, what pops up is known as an action sheet. In Android, it's a dialogue or pop-up. Essentially, it's a control of choices coming from the bottom of the screen that gives us plenty of room to see our options and make a selection. Another solution is to use a table or list view. Here, when selecting class of travel, we'll tap on economy, come to a separate screen with a list view and our options clearly visible. This technique is also used in this form for selecting number of passengers. So if I tap that, I've got all eight options clearly visible, and the one that's selected is indicated. Let's contrast these examples to the radio group. A radio group, or a segmented control, as it's known in iOS, gives us a series of related but mutually exclusive choices. So for picking my class of travel, I can clearly see my options, coach, business, and first, and simply tap on the one that makes the most sense for me. A segmented control, or radio button group, has mutually exclusive choices represented as text or images. And it comes with two nice benefits. One, all my options are instantly visible in the control. And two, from a touch target perspective, it's really simple and easy to hit these nice, large-sized options right then and there. Once you start using segmented controls or radio button groups, you'll find they can be applied to lots of questions in your forms and input. Consider this. Contrast these two examples. Here, everything's a drop-down. Here, we've got a number of different input types, including our friends, the radio groups. Number of beds, one through five. Number of baths, one through five. All our options clearly visible and easily tappable. And that's the advantage of a radio button group. Rather than resorting to a complex drop-down with lots of interactions, we can make choices instantly seen and easily tappable. Note, there are some limits to this. That's why I suggest trying to do it with the radio group first and then falling back to the drop-down if it doesn't work out.